Well, good morning and happy Wednesday, Calvary. So glad to have you here with us on this day. I'm excited that we're going through Genesis as a study because I love going back and looking at the beginning of things. Because what I find is that often when we look back at the beginning, it can show us where things went wrong or went awry. And often what happens when we look back at the beginning, we can also see how things have gone astray from the original intention and design of that thing. And today as we look at Genesis chapter 2, I think that's exactly the case. And listen, listen to what Genesis 2 says. It says, Thus the heavens and earth were created in their vast array. By the seventh day God had finished the work that he had been doing. So on the seventh day he rested from all his work. Then God blessed the seventh day and made it holy, because on it he rested from all the work of creating that he had done. See, God here creates everything in six days of creation, as we've talked about recently, and here in the seventh, he rests. But think about the implication of that. God didn't need a rest. He didn't get burnt out or worn out. He didn't have to deal with a terrible boss and want a day off from work, and yet he rested. And as we continue to follow the storyline, that would go from more than just an example he set, and it would eventually become an instruction he gave. Because God knows our heart and he knows how we are prone to overwork ourselves and prone to pushing through when we really should ease up. So in a world that glorifies being busy, in a world full of tasks and short on sleep, in a world where most vacations are more hectic than our everyday life, let me ask you a question. How are you at resting? See, God has called each of us to have a regular day of rest. He didn't intend for us to be legalistic and jump through hoops of what we could or couldn't do on that day. But his design was for us to take a break from work and to rest and to rest in him. So if it's been a while since you've done that, let me encourage you to block a day off this week or this weekend and just rest. Don't think of all the projects you can get done around the house. Don't think of all the errands you can run, but just rest. And enjoy the life that God has given you because if God saw the need to rest, how much more do we need to do the same? I hope that you find some rest this week, and I hope that you find encouragement that God loves you enough to instruct you to take a break for your own health. Have a great Wednesday, Calvary. We'll see you next time.